The period from the 1990s to the early 2000s was a time when scientists were still allowed to explore questions about ancient origins of modern human populations. Paleoanthropologists of the day were encouraged to speculate about the existence of archaic humans among us. Cryptozoology reached its peak in popularity as explorers ventured into Africa, Asia, and the Pacific Islands in search of hidden animals and exotic human tribes. Homo floresiensis was first discovered on the island of Flores in Indonesia in 1998-99. Virtually all of the leading men involved in the discovery and subsequent analysis were cryptozoologists or alternative science advocates. Aeon.com, Homo floresiensis and the myth of the Ebo Gogo, 2019. The hominid was so seemingly mythical that the research team drew from J.R.R. Tolkien's fictional world for its nickname, The Hobbit. William Jungers was an anthropology professor at Stony Brook University in New York. Jungers worked with Donald Johansson on Lucy Australopithecus afarensis. Jungers suggested that Homo floresiensis could have been late surviving Australopithecines similar to chimpanzees in certain hand bone characteristics and similar to Australopithecus in small stature pelvic, and brain size. A colleague of William Jungers, Midwestern University, Arizona, Professor Karen Babb compared the hobbits to Melanesian tribes and Pacific Islanders. It is clear that the body mass of Homo floresiensis can be matched easily among small-bodied living people. Jungers and others such as Professor Debbie R. Gue of Australia National University theorized a breakaway group of Australopithecines or Homo habilis might have built a raft and floated to Melanesia. Others believe Homo floresiensis was descended from an isolated branch of Homo erectus and that Homo floresiensis was a classic case of insular dwarfism. From ScienceHowStuffWorks.com this occurs when a species isolated on an island evolves to become smaller over generations due to limited resources and other environmental factors. Ape Man of the Indonesian Forests The island of Flores is located south of the island of Sumatra in the Indonesian island chain. The original Dutch and Portuguese explorers to the region described strange ape men of the jungles. AncientOrigins.net 2017 Legends about the Ebo Gogo go back to early western exploration of Flores by the Portuguese in 1511, who heard that there was a tribe of wild men and women who stole food and kidnapped children. One of these explorers was Dutch-speaking missionary Theodorus Verhoeven of Belgium. Gregory Fourth, Bill.com. Amateur paleontologist Theodor Verhoeven is best known for his discovery of sites on Flores Island that yielded lithic materials and remains of small-bodied Homo sapiens 3.5 thousand years ago, which he identified as proto-negritos. Continuing, Verhoeven believed Negritos survived on Flores as discrete populations during his own time. Assisting Verhoeven with his excavations was Dutchman Gustav van Koningswald, who would later be credited with the discovery of Gigantopithecus. According to Forth, Dutch anthropologists of the day speculated that separate Negrito populations might still be encountered in remote mountainous parts of some islands, including Flores. Homo floresiensis discovery.
Dutch colonial rule ended in Indonesia in 1949. Indonesian scientists utilized old manuscripts that had been painstakingly collected by Dutch explorers to make discoveries of their own. According to Robert Bednarik's 2008 paper reviewing the Flores Hobbit Chronicles, the initial Liang Bua excavation project was marred by contentious politics. Indonesians took credit for the previous work of the Dutch colonialists. Also, there were disputes over ownership of the manuscripts. After the dust settled, Mike Morewood, a New Zealander with Australia National University, was in charge. Of note, Morewood, also a cryptozoologist, was a close friend and colleague of both Jungers and Debbie Argue. Humanorigins.edu. On Saturday, September 6, 2003, Indonesian archaeologist Wei Saptomo was overseeing the excavation of Sector 7 at Liang Bua. Continuing, Benjamin Tarus, a locally hired worker, was excavating the square pit when all of a sudden the top of a skull began to reveal itself. When the new species was first announced in 2003, many anthropologists theorized that local inhabitants of the surrounding area were direct descendants. Various tribes in southern and western Flores have archaic hominid features to varying degrees. Some of the Floresiensis people have facial morphology similar to Homo erectus. Liang Bua, where Homo floresiensis was found, is located in the central highlands of western Flores. The village of Rampasasa is 8 kilometers away. ArsTechnia.com Pygmy is the scientific term for a group of people where adult males are less than about 4.7 feet tall, but whose bodies have average human proportions. Continuing most of the people living in Rampasasa fit that description. There are other striking morphological similarities. Many villagers on Flores have a receding chin. This would be similar to pre-sapiens such as Australopithecines and Homo habilis. Hobbit Battles There was some pushback. Some scientific journals and academics suggested it was racist to compare Flores Islanders to Australopithecines or diminutive Homo erectus. Ironically, many of the villagers, especially the village elders, embraced and even celebrated their newfound celebrity. They welcomed the anthropologists and asserted that yes, they were descendants of Homo floresiensis. Also, enterprising Indonesian businessmen swept in and used the Homo floresiensis discovery and the peculiar tiny stature of Rampasasans to promote tourism. And in another ironic twist, according to the London Telegraph, October 2024, other Rampasansas vigorously deny that they are related to the hobbits. Instead, they claim that the villagers from Labuan Bajo, located at the far western end of Flores, are the real Ebo Gogo. They even accuse the Labuan tribe of cannibalism and assert that their women have enormous breasts similar to the legendary Ebo Gogo women. Monkey Face Men of Nagekoa. AncientOrigins.net, 2017. For generations, the natives of Flores, particularly the Nagekoa tribe, told the story of an isolated tribe of around 50 small people inhabiting a cave near one of the island's volcanoes just outside the old village of Ua. Continuing, they were said to walk erect covered in hair, their faces were said to resemble a monkey with large canine teeth. Although they were short, 
they were exceptionally strong and very powerful runners. The Nage Keo tribe people have been described as monkey faced by other islanders. They have even been described as monkey like in official governmental records. One of these monkey faced little people survived until 1995. Father Zachariah Zay was a Catholic priest in Southern Flores. One of the priest's colleagues, Father Glinke, described his friend. Father Zay was, of course, quite short with tight curly hair and a somewhat prognathous face. Father Glinke went on to account how many of the villagers in Father Zay's area had similar monkey-like features. Indonesian Villagers Mystery DNA The local Rampasasa villagers were swabbed by scientists. They found normal levels of Neanderthal and Denisovan percentages compatible with other Melanesia and Asian populations. However, some of the archaic hominid DNA admixture was classified as unidentified. From Ars Technic, Professor Serena Tucci and her colleagues say they could not rule out small-scale gene flow at some point in the distant past. Carl Zimmer from the New York Times, Bodies Keep Shrinking on the Island, 2019. A tiny portion of DNA could not be matched to humans, Neanderthals, or Denisovans. Indonesian Hobbits a mere legend? Paige Madison, PhD, is regarded as one of the world's leading experts on Homo floresiensis. She studied at ASU under two of the greatest paleoanthropologists of all time, Donald Johansson and William Kimball. Madison, who is now a postdoc researcher at the University of Copenhagen Natural History Museum, has been an extreme skeptic of any continuity models for Floresiensis to modern islanders. Paige Madison did spend some time on Flores. She has been particularly adamant that linking the hobbits to the local Rampasasans is a racist notion. Madison, AN, 2019, holes in the Ebo Gogo Homo Floresiensis Association grew too large to be ignored. Each expedition in search of a reported sighting revealed an empty cave. New places of scientific evidence have also made the connection increasingly implausible. New discovery from Mata Menge. Madison's primary argument against the continuity model from Floresiensis to moderns has been geographical. Madison Aeon, the category Ebo Gogo belongs to the Nage people who reside more than 100 kilometers away from the Homo Floresiensis discovery site at Liangbua, across treacherous mountains and thick jungle forests. Yusuka Keifu is the lead paleontology researcher at the University of Tokyo. Keifu and his international team of archaeologists have just discovered two hominid teeth and an adult limb bone at a site on the island of Flores, Mata Menge. Paper, August 2024, Early Evolution of Small Body Size in Homo Floresiensis. The Mata Menge fossils represent an ancestral segment of the Liangbua Homo Floresiensis lineage and that the Flores hominids are dwarf descendants of large-bodied early Asian Homo erectus. University of Copenhagen postdoc Paige Madison stated, the Ebo Gogo belongs to the Nage Keo people who reside more than 100 kilometers away from the Homo floresiensis discovery site of Liangbua. According to Al Shatran, the free encyclopedia site, Mata Menge, where the three new Homo floresiensis fossils have been discovered, 
is approximately 100 kilometers from Liangbua. For decades, cryptozoologists and dissident paleoanthropologists have argued that ape men once roamed the jungles of Flores. Some even suggested that these creatures might still exist today. The new fossil discoveries from Mata Menge, combined with the DNA evidence, strongly support the continuity hypothesis. Similar to the continuity observed in Homo erectus leading to modern Chinese populations in Asia, the regional continuity model suggests a likely evolutionary link between Homo floresiensis and modern Indonesian villagers. Thank you for watching. On a personal note, I spent nine months in and out of the Philippines on board the USS Kitty Hawk CV-63 in the 1980s. And another personal note, Paige Madison attacked me personally on Twitter in 2019 for suggesting a link between Homo floresiensis and the Rampa Sasan villagers. More to come on Homo floresiensis.